What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are rocking out with Choice Specs Politoed for Regulation Age. Now, when it comes to Politoed, for the most part, you see this Pokemon as a support Pokemon on rain teams. But in today's video, we're letting it set the rain and do its own damage because it's got the Choice Specs item. So I'm super excited to use this Pokemon and get ripping with it. Now, Politoed is a straight water type Pokemon. It is rocking the Flying Terror type to go with its Terror Blast. And then on top of that, it's got Ice Beam, Muddy Water, and Weather Ball. So in the rain, those water moves do insane amount of damage. And the Choice Specs boost on top of this, Politoed's going to be picking up some KOs today. Now, we got two other Pokemon that work really well in the rain on today's team. We got Bash Legion. Obviously, that Pokemon's got Swift Swim, the Outspeed, and it's holding the Life Orb to do big time damage just like Politoed. And then we got Arch Ludon on the other hand. Now, Arch Ludon has just been a staple in the meta ever since it's been released. Just super strong, super bulky, can do a lot of different things. This one's got stamina with body press, and also has Electro Shot with Draco Meteor. Like I said, Arch Ludon's just top tier in the rain. Now, the other half of the team, the other three Pokemon, I should say, are all Trick Room Pokemon. We got Bronzon, Ursaluna, and Vickable. Bronzon can set the Trick Room, then Vickable and Ursaluna are great special and physical attackers within that Trick Room. So, this seems pretty much split down the middle. You got Rain Squad, you got Trick Room Squad. squad. If you guys want to run the team for yourself, run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into match number one showcasing this Politoed team. First match for today's video, and we are going up against a Dragapult team. They also have Whimscott, they got Amoongus, they're also rocking out with Ursa Luna, Incineroar, and last but not least, Golden Go. Honestly, I really like my Rain Squad here, but the only problem would be if Whimscott is rocking Sunny Day, and there is a chance of that, but I still like going into maybe like Politoed here alongside with Arch Luna. I feel like that could be really good for us. So that is exactly who I'm going to lead here in the back end. Got to bring Basque Legion and last but not least, either Ursa Luna or Vickable. And looking at this team, Ursa Luna could be pretty good. I do like Ursa Luna, especially with the normal typing. Any ghost type moves, Shadow Ball, Phantom Force, this thing dodges. It's immune to it. So we're going to go in with Ursa Luna. Late game bear. Late game bear looking for the win here. Let's try to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know that I play hockey. And I actually just joined, or I recently joined, this league called the NBHL, the National Ball Hockey League. And last night, me and my boys won our division. So we won the championship. Pretty cool. We actually get to go to like a big time tournament with all the best teams from all around the U.S. and Canada. And that'll be in like September to see if we can win like the best of the best tournament. But we really cared about our division and we ended up winning it last night. Pretty sick. We were like spraying champagne. Drinking beers afterwards. Just a good time for the boys. Just a good time for the boys to win a, win a nice little hockey championship. So that was a lot of fun last night. But now I'm back. Ready to record for you guys. Bring you guys some more Pokemon content as always. Uh, they're going to end up leading Incineroar and Amoongus. Okay, so this looks just this just looks like a fake out spore kind of turn. Which can be a little rough. Um, what do I do here? I think I have to launch a Muddy Water. Or I could go Flying Terror and just try to get rid of this Amoongus. That could be pretty... Pretty awesome. I think I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to rip a body press into Incineroar. Who's he faking out? That's the real question. That's the real question. I really hope it's Arch Luna because if they put my Polito to sleep. Oh man, that could be rough. That could be rough. That could be real rough. So I'm really hoping they're just faking out Archer Ludon and then Polytoke and Choice Specs Terror Blast. Maybe KO Amoongus. I'm not sure how much damage this Polytoke does, but we're giving it a run today. We're giving it a run today, seeing how we do with it. So there's the Terror type. Yes, sir. Little balloons on its head. Big time balloons. Big time balloons. He faking out. No! It's so why? Why you gotta do that? Why you gotta do that? Body press and launches. Does great damage to Incineroar, though. And Polytoke's gonna flinch. Now, who you spawn? You spawn my Archer Ludon. So, does this be my choice? Does this be my choice resets? I might just go for Muddy Water at this point. Actually, no. I want to get rid of this Amoongus. Would it reset? It does reset. So, I could switch it into something else. But I'm gonna rip a Terra Blast. I really don't want to deal with Amoongus. I really don't want to deal with Amoongus. And instead of Body press we're just gonna go for a electro shot because we might as well boost our special attack even though we're not waking up this turn even though we are not waking up so let's see what they want to do here i'm really hoping that they just keep a moongus in here because i would love to just do a big chunk of damage to this pokemon but there is a chance that they do swap it. they don't swap it that's good news that's great news that's lovely news. 
Let's see how much damage this Terror Blast does. I don't think they're expecting truly specs, probably, too. That does damage. That does good damage. Of course, you got a berry, but another one will KO. Chances are you're going to sleep, Polytoad. This does not look good for us. Don't be a spore spammer. He's going to go for parting shot, which I don't mind. I mean, I can body press my way to victory. I can always body press my way to victory. So, he's going to parting shot out. He still has Incineroar late game. Low damage, though. Or I should say low HP. And who are you going to go into? That's the real question. Who you got cooking here? I think it's got to be like, maybe like Dragapult. It's got to be Pult or Golden Go, right? A little ghost action? Yep, Poltski. Pult's going to come out here. And guess what, guys? I'm going to sleep again. This guy just, oh, like, let's use Amoongus, but only use Spore. Get on out of here. Getting real tired of you. Getting real tired of you. I mean, we have a few good rain Pokemon, but I'd rather go for Terror Blast, look to get rid of this Amoongus. And if I can land just a Draco Meteor in this slot, that'd be really nice. That would be lovely. I wonder what he's going to do. Dragon Darts, maybe? This could be a Choice Band Dragapult. Dragon Darts, maybe? It could be Special Attacking as well. I've seen Drag Dragapults go more Special Attacking because their move pulls a little bit better with, like, Thunderbolt and stuff like that. Hmm. Let's see. It could be, like, Choice Band Terra Ghost. A lot of options here for Dragapult. Dragapult is just such a dope Pokemon. I love Dragapult. But Amoongus, on the other hand... Ah, man. Spore City. That's what we should... Petition to change his, change Amoongus' name to Spore City. I'm so in. So Incineroar comes out here. That's fine. I mean, you're going to intimidate me, but... I mean, I'm special attacking. Hopefully Archloot, I can wake up here. I'm going to see Dragon Darts launch. Do respectable damage. I do get a stamina boost, which is even better for me. That actually did a lot of damage to Polytoad. Who's sleep? Both my Pokemon are asleep. Just what I wanted. Just what I wanted. I mean, I'm going to swap Polytoad just so we can get Rain Reset here. And I'm going to go right in the Basque region. I'm gonna do that, and I'm. Just, I would rather get rid of you. I'd rather get rid of Pult, so I'm gonna go for Drake and Meteor into Pult. Even though we are minus one on special attack, I still like our odds of KO. And unless you're sashed, you could be sashed, but then I can always just like Aqua Jet with Basket Legion. I doubt you're going for a Ghost move here. I really doubt it. Or Dark move into Polytoad. Actually, you could. You could go for Dark move into Polytoad. That would be very upsetting. But out comes the Terror type. Dragapult, please don't be fairy. Dragon, that works. I mean, Dragon Dart's going to get a boost in damage, which is a tad bit scarier. But, I mean, Archelodon should be able to soak. He's going to fake it out. Anyway. They fix it out. My stamina boost goes up. That's actually good. Dragon Dart's going to launch. Just going to do good damage to Basque Legion, which I'm terrified of. My defense is through the roof, though, which we love. And yeah, basically just takes a nice chunk of damage. So, I mean, they could hard swap here. Um, my actual on will wake up next turn, which is really good news. And he's super bulky. What's my play here? Just a wave crash this slot? Yeah, I mean, if you want to swap it to Amoongus, go ahead. Swap it to Amoongus. And I'm just going to body press this slot. So as much damage as we can. I mean, we're stamina boosted like crazy. So it's either they swap Incineroar and somebody takes a wave crash, probably Amoongus. And then we bring it low enough to KO. And then we get off a body press onto my uh onto this Dragapult. Hmm. Yeah, as long as I keep my Arch Ludon on the field for a little bit, we should be fine. I mean, we have Polyto to reset the rain if we want to. Um Hmm. And we have Ursaluna. Which is pretty good, but they're going to choose to actually go into Ursaluna. Ursaluna is not going to take too kindly to this body press. I don't know, Wave Crash is going to finish off Incineroar. And honestly, this body press is probably going to finish off this, uh, this, what's it called? This Ursaluna. What are we, plus three, plus four? What if plus four on defense? They faked out this Pokemon twice. They hit it with Dragon Darts twice. Of course, we had a three-turn sleep, which really sucks. But, Arch Ludon's so back. There we go. Leave this thing on 
red HP. The rain is gone. But I mean, Aqua Jet can still KO, obviously, Ursaluna. All right, so we're sitting in a pretty decent position right here. Lovely. And my basket, I could reset the rain if I want to. I do have Politoed in the back end. They used their terror. We still have our terror. Not too shabby. Now let's see if they go into Amoongus. It is going to be Amoongus. We're back with a lot of HP. A bit too much HP. Obviously, I want to try to get rid of this Ursaluna. But I mean, we're going to double down into it. Better not protect it, but I think you're going for Rage Powder. I mean, I, one of us should have attacked the Moongus just in case he does protect, but I think this is more of a Rage Powder play, right? Yeah, we should have just, what's it called? In all honesty, we should have just attacked this Amoongus. Play it safer. If we, even if we think they're going for Rage Powder, we should have split the shots down the middle. But yeah, it is a Rage Powder play anyway. Okay, cool. So, I mean, I think we should be able to get rid of Amoongus here. A combination of Wave Crash and Body Press should do enough. I will take Mean Recoil. Can I survive the Life Orb? I do want 2 HP, which is nice news. And Body Press doesn't KO, which is rather upsetting. Hyper Voice is going to launch. You keep my Arch Loot on the field, which is great. And now I have both our Pokemon really low on HP. And I can just bring out Politoed, who then I could choice into, like, I could choice into Muddy Water if I want to. Just for a double hitting move. Yeah, I mean, actually, yo, you're asleep. You're asleep, and I'd rather take advantage of these turns. What's your speed? You're asleep, Politoed. It's actually really upsetting. Your speed's slow as dirt. Slow as dirt. Oh, man. I'm just gonna go into Politoed. Let's get it, Politoed. It's your time to shine. Wake up here. I need a turn from you. I need a turn for you to wake up. This thing's on 1 HP. This thing is on 1 HP. I'm actually just going to choice an Ice Beam here. And honestly, you're going to die out to Life Orb damage. I'm just going to get rid of Amoongus. If Polytoad wakes up, Polytoad wakes up, and we get rid of both. But, I'd rather you die out to Life Orb and we just choice an Ice Beam. Problem here is if Ursaluna gets off an Earth Power. That's our problem. Maybe we should have swapped Politoed into like Archaludon and then attacked. But I don't know if our Ursaluna is faster than Amoongus. But he's gonna end up going for Rage Powder regardless. Can you wake up Politoed? Politoed, I just need you to wake up here. If you wake up here, we we win this match no problem. This video is about you. You're probably on the thumbnail. So if you wake up here, you're solidified in that slot. Politoed. 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 No! Oh man, Politoed. I needed you. I needed you. So you die out the life orb. It turns into a 2v1. So we still definitely have a shot at winning this match. We definitely still have a shot at winning this match. And I get to bring out my Ursaluna. Now, Dragapult could be Sash. I don't think we touched it yet. That's where my problem stands. This thing could be Sash. If I can land an Ice Beam, that'd be nice. I'm going to go for Ice Beam, and I'm, I'm going to attack here. I'm just going for a Facade. I don't want to lower our defense just yet. I would need Polito to eat up a Dragon Darts. I don't know if it can, though. I don't think it can. But it took that much damage to a Dragon Darts earlier. He's going to end up going for a Terra Blast into who? Into Ursaluna. That should win us the game. That should win us the game. This Politoed should be guaranteed to wake up here. Yep, there's my Froggy. With the choice specs with Ice Beam, super effective. Night Night, no focus ash. So, GG's. Thank you for waking up, Politoed. We start off today's video 1 0. Moving on to match number two, and we're going up against an all time favorite Lapras. Everybody loves rap Lapras, the Gen 1 Pokemon. Just so dope. I just think that Pokemon's so cool. But, um, on top of that, they got Fire Ogre Pond, they got Metagross. Screamtail, Archaludon, and last but not least, they do have Grimstraw. I definitely hope that they bring a Lapras. I mean, going into a Rain Squad is pretty good for us, so I'm going to end up going into Politoed again. 
alongside with our Sludon. It's just really good for us. So I'm going to go in with both of them, get ripping with that, bring our Basculesion in the back end. And last but not least, Vickable could be nice for us. So I am going to go Vickable over Ursaluna. Pretty much the same team, team that we brought last time, but we're swapping out Ursaluna for Vickable. I'm cool with this. I am cool with this. Bronson could have been good as well with Gyro Ball, especially up against that Screamtail and the Grimmsnarl. And maybe like an Iron Defense. So, I mean, they got a few physical attackers with like Metagross and Ogre Pond, but Ogre Pond could do some big time damage with Ivy Cudgel. We don't like that. We definitely don't like that. But I like the team that we're bringing. They have no weather control, not a single lick of weather control. So it's like, dude, if we could thrive off with this raid, we could just guarantee ourselves a winning record. Win our second match today. And, you know, keep the hot streak going because we've been killing it in regula Regulation H. It's doing really, really well. And it's just been a lot of fun because we're using Pokemon that, like, you don't see too much. Like, especially in Regulation G. Like, Regulation G is just like, okay, Rillaboom, Incineroar, and your Regulation G Pokemon with, like, Raging Bull and Ogre Pond. And it's just like, okay, that, that, th that team's nasty. Like, we can't counter that with other Pokemon, so we're just going to use the same Pokemon. That's pretty much what it was, but, you know, restricted formats are fun for, like, the, for like a month or two. It's, like, cool to, like, use, like, the new legendaries, like, Miraidon and Karaidon. And then, like, after a month or two, you're like, alright, this is kind of boring. I've been using the same Pokemon over and over and over again. We need to switch up. And Regulation H was just that perfect switch up that we needed. But, they're going to go into Screamtail and Lapress. Lapris. And from here, I mean, Electroshock gonna gonna really do do work here. And I'm just gonna go into a Weather Ball here. One choice of the Weather Ball, make life a lot easier for me. And I'm just gonna go into Electroshock. I want to go into Muddy Water, but 85 accuracy really hurts the soul, man. I know, I know my RNG is not that good to be ripping Muddy Waters, right? So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stay true here. I'm just going to rip Weather Balls. We already got a decent lead. We might as well not screw it up with RNG, right? We don't want RNG into the assist, uh, system at all here. So he's going to end up protecting the Lapras. That's fine by me. Noble War is going to come out here. And he's going to drop my attack stat and my special attack. Noble War. And what do you got? Mirror Herb? What, 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 what is that? Oh, you got the Throat Spray that goes off on that. That's pretty dope. Now I'm going to get this special attack boost, which is really good for us. How much damage is this Weather Ball going to do after that special attack drop? Noble War coming out of here. How often do you see that? This is what I'm talking about with like Regulation Age being so cool. So Weather Ball, Choice Spec, Stab. Oh, that's some damage. That is some damage. We're going to launch another one. We're going to launch another one, and I'm just going to launch another Electro Shot. Give me no reason not to. I thought you have Terra Ground. You have no ground Pokemon on your team. Paper Boy's going to fly. Do minimal damage. Talk about minimal damage. Minimal damage. Now, Electro Shot's gonna finish off Lapras. My Polytoad's still doing an insane amount of damage, even with that special attack drop. Match number two is looking awesome for us. Bye bye, Lapras. Get on out my face. This thing is bulky. But I was gonna say, I wouldn't be surprised to see this thing soak up a shot. But being plus two, come on, man. Arch Lunon, he's known for big time damage. Weather Ball's gonna launch. Even being minus one, this Polytoad's still hitting like an absolute truck. Later, Screamtail, get it on out my face. Lots well, are for us in match number two. Looking pretty good for us. Weather Ball just does so much damage. Now my boy is just set up. I can drop plus two Draco Meteors. I can drop a plus three Electro Shot. Archer Ludon's here to finish this match off. So is Polythoon. Weather Ball in the rain. Damage is up there. So let's see their final two Pokemon. This is going to be da -da -da, Archer Ludon. We could body press that thing down. Last but not least, it is going to be Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond, I'm just going to Weather Ball KO. I'm saying, ah, uh, will we KO with Weather Ball? I hope so. I don't know, at least give it a try. And from here, do I go Body Press? I'm going to go Draco Meteor. I'm going to go Draco Meteor. We're not stamina boosted. We have no plus on our defense. We're plus two on special attack right now. We might as well use it to our advantage because Arch Lodon is their one scary Pokemon that I'm worried about. So I'd rather just try land Draco Meteor, which might just KO. Only it's gonna fly here and ooh. yeah, should have terrestrialized. Didn't didn't think of that. Didn't didn't think of that. But Polito did its work already. Arch Lunon, are you gonna go? It's going for Iron Defense. That's totally fine. That's totally fine because I would love to just land a Shurik Meteor and KO you. That a boy Arch Lunon KO this thing. Get out of here. Let's go. Let's go. So you can set up your Iron Defense all you want. You're not surviving this plus two Drake Meteor. Now my Arch Lunon's back normal on the attack board. 
or special attack board. It's back even. And I can bring out my Basque Legion with these couple of rain turns that we have left. And probably just finish off this match with a Water Terra Wave Crash, right? Do we have at least two turns left in rain? Yep, we got two turns left in rain, so that's pretty much game. So we'll go Wave Crash here. We'll go Terra Water, and I guess we'll just launch another Draco Meteor. I should have went body press just for accuracy purposes, but I think my Basque Legion can one shot this uh this Ogre Pond. The only the only way we lose this, I think, is if they land two spiky shields. Two. They would need to land two spike shields to have a shot at winning. Because we still have uh we still have other Pokemon in the back end as well. But let's see if they even go for one of them. They're gonna they're gonna terrestrialize, and that's just that just makes this wave crash super effective, so we're definitely KOing it. We were KOing it regardless of this terror or not. Just wave crash in the rain stab with life orb is just absurd amount of damage. Not a lot of Pokemon can survive it. So he embody aspects up, he turns to a straight fire type. He's just looking to do damage. And wave crash is flying. So game set match. Your boy's sitting 2-0. I'm loving this team so far. Politoed Rain Squad cannot go wrong with it. Third and final matches here. Now, this is a team that I think in Regulation H is going to shine a lot. They got Wimscott, they got Incineroar, Rillaboom, Hydreigon, Palafin making its return, and last but not least, Golden Go. Now, this matchup is going to be tough for us. We're looking for that winning record, or not the winning record, the perfect record. So, I think going into like Trick Room might be in our best option, right? They could go Palafin turn one just to swap that bad boy out and get it back in. So, I kind of want to go Vicavolt instead of Ursaluna. Especially because of like fake out purposes as well, or I should say intimidate purposes. So I'm gonna go into both of them, bring Ursuline in the back end, and last but not least, our choice specs frog. Toad. It's a toad. Toads and frogs are different, right? Slightly different. It's like crocodiles and alligators. Like we don't know what's different about them, but they're different. But they're different. So poly toad, not poly frog, bringing it in the back end. Looking for this perfect record. 2 0 so far. But I think they're gonna lead like Palafin and Cinnamon where Palafin. Rillaboom would be a solid lead for them, considering they probably think like, hey, it might go into like a rain squad, but nah, I'm gonna try to pop off this trigger. One thing I am scared of is like Wimscott maybe with like Torrent or Encore. That could be a slight problem. Um Hmm. Let's just see who they lead first instead of overthinking this. But yeah, sitting 2 0. Politoed squad's been thriving out. Artillery always doing good. Basically just doing big time damage. But now now to try to at least try to show off the uh trick room side of things. They're going to end up going Wimscott and Palafin, so Palafin, they might hard, just straight up hard swap. I'm really hoping they don't have Taunt. That's the one issue here. I might just, I might just Gyro Ball this thing down. And who could they possibly swap into? Rillaboom, maybe? I'm going to Bug Buzz that slot. I think Rillaboom might get the swap, or if even if it's Hydreigon. I'm cool with this. We're not even going to set up Trick Room this turn. They don't have the damage output to kind of just like apply pressure to me. I think they're going to try to like taunt me or something. So I'm going to attack with Gyro Ball on top of that. I'm going to predict a swap either into like Rillaboom. There's a taunt, so that's good. No swap either, unless it's a flip turn. But yeah, I think they're going to swap either into like Rillaboom. Yeah, there's flip turn. Or into uh, Hydreigon. And I think it's going to be Rillaboom though. They have Rillaboom. It's totally coming out here. To see Invicable, you think I'm going for like Thunderbolt. But no, I'm predicting this swap. And it's going to be Hydreigon. That works even fine, too, because you're dark typing. And Bug Buzz is going to launch. Bug Buzz, baby. Lay the Hydreigon. Good call, Maya. This is switching to Bug Buzz rather than T-Bolt. So Hydreigon gone. We might even be able to take out Whimsicott here, which would be awesome. Lay the Whimsicott. Oh, yes. What a turn for us. You think I'm setting up Trick Room? Nah, we're just going to KO both your Pokemon. So now they have Palafin chilling on the field. We are taunted up a little bit. Might want to swap our. I might just want to swap our what's it called here. Our bronze on because trick room could be really good for us. They do got palafin. And I think do oh, do I want to set the rain? That's the only problem here. Do I want to set the rain? Could go into the bear. I think, oh man, I don't want to set the rain, but I want to swap Bronzong. I'm going to set the rain. I want Bronzong more than I want to not set the rain. And then we'll just protect this turn. This rain could come back to bite us because we are just boosting Palafin's damage. 
This this could definitely come back to bite us. Let's just see what they do first. Is this gonna be water terror palpin? Oh no! In the rain? Oh no, don't be water terror. Ah dude, we might lose this match. I'm not gonna lie, Palfin is him. Such a strong Pokemon. We just gave it the rain boost. We do protect the Bickabolt. Hopefully you attack my Bickabolt. Rather than my Bronzong slot. He's gonna fake out the Bickabolt. Double down to Bickies. Double down to my bug. Double down to my bug. Dude, I'm gonna be taking damage to this. Wow. A lot of damage. At least we get off some mean recoil. So chances are we're gonna see a grassy guy come out here. I'm just gonna sacrifice my my Politoed. And if I can get off a Thunderbolt, I'd love to get this off, but I think he's just gonna wave crash down my Oh yeah, I don't think I don't think we can win this one. I really don't. Actually, I think we can. I think we can. And I know exactly how. I know exactly how. Actually, I don't think we can win. I do not think we can win. Oh, man! Literally, Polito might have been the worst Pokemon I could have brought. That rain boost is just insane. So, my plan here is I want to maybe swap or terrestrialize Bronzong into water to get off Trick Room. The only problem with that is I would have to protect Ursaluna this turn. And then the next turn, they can just jet punch me down and I would die. They're both physical attackers. Hold up. Give me, give me a chance with this. We're gonna go Water Terror, try to pop a Trick Room. And maybe just start trying to boost my defense here. Or I maybe should have made a read. I mean, this could work. This could work if they don't attack Franz on here. They might double down to Bronze on though. That's my only, that's my issue here. Yeah, there's the wave crash in that. I should've, I should've just attacked with our Saluna this turn. Oh my damage. Recall's, recall's good here. What hammer gonna launch? <sighs> Dude, this is, this is brutal. This is brutal. How many turns are left in Trick Room? If it's... Or not trick room in rain. Rain's the, the big factor here. Is it two? It is two, so we're pretty much forced to attack. Oh, what a play. What a play. GG's. Thanks for playing. Palfin protects here. Instead of just jet punching me. So now he can just wood hammer me down. GG's. God, man, I hate Palafin. I love Palafin, but I hate versing it. I love using it. love everything about it. Just versing it. This thing is just an absolute menace. And Robeam's just so powerful as well. One hammer's just going to KO us, no problem. That's just a perfect protect to finish off this match. So we started off things hot, but then them having to swap into Palafin just works so perfectly. And then I gave him the rain, too. If we had anybody but Palafin, I feel like we would have had a, at least a better shot at winning this. But at that point, Palafin was just doing too much damage. So GG's to our opponent. We go 2-1 and for today's video. So guys, we'll take a winning record all day. 2-1, rocking out with Choice Specs, Polytoed, Rain Squad, and this Trick Room team. Absolutely love this team. You got Vickable, you got Polytoed, Arch Luna, Basic Legion, Bronzong, Ursaluna, who's seen a little bit of usage in today's video, but didn't do too well at the end of the battle considering Palfin was just ripping us up. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.